beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot Reading. All Signs Love Tarot Reading. All Zodiac Signs Love Reading. This is a love reading for the collective. Oftentimes, probably more than not, this is also your All Signs Love Messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. This is a timeless reading meant for you when you get here. This is a faded connection between you and your reading. You're here for a reason, so welcome again. I'm glad you're here. Down below, you will find all the decks that are coming in today in the description. You'll also find all the playlists, all zodiac signs, more readings like today, the all signs, love tarot readings, and those are under love tarot readings, <laughs> messages from your person. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in-depth twin flame readings also, so feel free to check anything out that I need to fix that you are inspired to check out. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, let the rest go, and I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when readings are coming. Thank you again for being here today. Let's see what is going on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. It's the death card in reverse. So something is, oh yeah, very stagnant at the moment. The hermit card in the upright. Wow. Doesn't look like it will be stagnant for long, but it has been stagnant, and I want to say still is. Right here in the partnership placement is the Hermit card, Mercury and Virgo energy. You know, it's where you're going. Interesting to get some clarity, truth, time alone. What do you want? Well, look at that. The Three of Cups here with the Empress. Caddy Corner also here with where your person's energy is the strongest. The Page of Swords. So there's a little bit of immature energy validation of, well, no contact, no communication and or in separation, but also here opposite of the death card of things just not moving here, somebody thinking a lot about something that they said, perhaps what they haven't said, the five of swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarius energy. So this is really a, what's a making peace energy here. The stagnation is most definitely in the way of where the connection has been going, but we see where it's heading. So we're going to keep moving forward here. But the three of pentacles, Mars and Capricorn energy, this is in the upright. This is a collaborative energy. You know, it's, it takes two here really for communication to open up, for these pentacles to, well, move forward, to grow, to grow right here with the empress. Divine, divine timing, communication. So things moving again via communication. That's naturally putting the connection, you know, in movement, I want to say. But what kind of movement? Is it just coming together to talk because things have been feeling, yeah, it's not moving here. But whatever is happening, it's either to talk or maybe even come together. The Three of Cups, this is Mercury and Cancer energy. So... This is a communicative energy, also a reunion energy, which can be via in person for some of you, even around some friends and family, and really a validation of that with the Empress, should that be the case for you. But it can also be just message, Mercury oftentimes. Well, Mercury is about communication. So whether it's a phone call, even talking in person, or via message, but Mercury is oftentimes connected with reading and writing. So it can be that there's going to be a conversation between you, whether it's in person or even through a message, I want to say social media. So it's wanting to go bottoms up. SMS. Okay. So also seeing here at the bottom of the deck, the five of pentacles in reverse. 
So definitely look at this energy here with the hangman and the hermit card. And this is really very strong where your person's energy is. They're everywhere, but here in my readings, it's quite strong here. It's the hangman energy, another major arcana in the upright here, Pisces energy. More about timing. So it can be that there have been timing issues here between you, but more importantly, this is timing, I want to say, of, of things coming together now. With that said, it's been, things haven't been moving. Your person has been really indecisive. Looks like it's around this two of pentacles as well, right in between the five of swords in reverse and the hermit card, interesting. Because this can be, for some of you, your Capricorn and Saturn energy, by the way, of just not wanting to commit or having trouble with commitment, commitment issues here and inability to commit, struggling with commitment, overwhelmed, perhaps. But, and that can be just that it's around commitment issues. But there can also be other things around those commitment issues. The Two of Pentacles, you know, it's around possibly what's that other pentacle? You know, is it just weighing it out for somebody taking things further or staying in a committed relationship or is there something else going on? Uh, well, commitments are, well, they're commitments. <laughs> the pentacle is what I wanted to say. Relationships, connections. So it can be to a, another romantic connection that's already either a, a long-term grounded connection to romance. It can be another choice for romance, but it can also be around commitments and relationships to money, to work, to location, to family or friends, possibly some third party interference here. So that is what's kind of holding things up here in the hermit energy where, you know, going there to get some clarity. What do you want? It's super slow down here and it's right in the partnership placement connecting with the three of pentacles. Timing seems to be playing a really big part here also via communication and it looks like things are opening up and I'm wondering if there's some triggering energy going on here because well they've been really indecisive and not really doing anything this is there might be some power struggles going on here as well let's continue on and see what's happening but we see here what what's on their mind <laughs> is what I want to say here in the hermit energy and also connecting with the three of cups is communication the Knight of Swords, this minor arcana, Libra and Mercury energy, just has a lot to say and is going to just find a way to say it, is what I want to say. And coming in here and really changing everything. You know, the horse is a little bit freaked out. They're coming in so fast. Holding on to the harness. They're wearing, of course, it's knight energy, so they're wearing their their armor. So it can be that there's still a little bit of conflicting energy here. You see the sharp clouds coming in here with the Three of Cups as well. So maybe even somebody showing up at an event or you're seeing them somewhere. And of course, coming in with a message. The Empress here, right in the, right in the middle of it all, also with the Ten of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So it's kind of like putting down, putting down everything that's been, I want to say, stressing the connection, things that have been getting held on to, the lack of communication, the lack of movement. The Ten of Wands is Jupiter, Jupiter energy, and that's the planet of prosperity and expansion and things moving forward, you know, things growing, and they haven't been. And it's connected to the break of energy and luck here. It's, it is this feeling of timing both in perhaps there have been timing issues for you of, of why this wasn't working, but also just a wait. Seven of Pentacles energy here of, well, you having waited here for a while underneath this Page of Swords energy, which again can, it's some breakup energy, can be some immature energy going on here. Somebody who's been kind of waiting forever maybe to have a conversation, some communication issues. Either way, you can see it connected here with the Hangman and we also see it here in a pretty big way in the Hermit and the Death card in reverse. That's the stagnation and and giving up sort of just feeling like, is this even, is, am I ever, are we going to talk? Or is anything going to happen energy too? Connecting here with the Death card energy, that stagnation and the Four of Cups because they're, they're wanting to come in here. This is Moon and Cancer energy. And of course, 
it's emotional energy around the love, but it's also the moon energy. And that's opening, that's around all the emotions and, you know, bringing up what has been hiding, which are emotions and it's communication. And they're coming here out of nowhere. And here with this Knight of Swords energy, perhaps again, this can be that this is at an actual event or around some friends and family for some of you. But this can also be indicative of a message. And it's minor arcana energy. So it's kind of, it's like day to day energy. So somebody, you know, it's been a while. So it's sort, of, it's sort of like, we know that it's coming up here. It's just a matter of when it's the timing here. And I'm wondering if there, there's a triggering going on, if they're seeing something or hearing something, maybe for those of you connected through friends or family or social media, because you have one foot out the door here, the seven of pentacles, Venus and Taurus energy of just waiting, waiting for something to happen here, patiently waiting, looking at the six pentacles here, which of course that's the six of pentacles within the seven of pentacles, that's the moon in Taurus, and that's the communication, the opening up, communicating really in new ways and bringing forward a lot of emotions that perhaps have been getting suppressed or held back. Leaning into this wisdom stick staff, thinking about it, assessing the situation here and controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. And you see here with this pentacle, of course, if you don't want to put that back in here, you're not going to, right? And that's, do I want to put it back in for, do I want to keep waiting for things to move forward here? Well, it looks like there is some movement going on. The Empress is has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. And she's, she's bringing your person in here, <laughs> kind of triggered. Okay, they're triggered. <laughs> what can I say? There is a triggering energy and there's, I, I want to say, a lot energy. There might even be some jealousy issues going on here. Is that why? In any case, they're coming in in an emotionally available way and they're, they're ready to be honest with you. So what were they holding on to? Because they have been, there's kind of some immaturity around that page of swords in reverse and also some dishonesty. Coming in here, wanting to start things up, at the very least bring the truth and open up, which is what literally you've been waiting for. So it can be that there is some communication going on at an event. Um, in particular, this time of year, you know, if you're watching this in real time, and again, that won't be for everybody, but it's definitely an added element here, should that be the case. But coming in here with this communication, as you see, at an out of nowhere energy, <laughs> again, connected with the Knight of Swords as well, and we're seeing the Three of Swords here, of course, within the Four of Swords, and that's Mercury and Cancer energy, and it's the communication, and you can see, you know, arms are crossed here, waiting for that, waiting for this communication again, so possibly seeing each other or, or the communication you've been waiting for to talk, to hear from them. For some of you, I'm hearing you're waiting for a response. There's hurt energy here and it slowed everything down. So somebody that was emotionally unavailable, having trouble with commitment, or is there a lot more underneath that? Perhaps having said some hurtful things or not having said anything at all. It's all around this commitment energy of possibly something, someone, thoughts, behaviors, people, patterns, what else? Maybe just the inability to commit, having trouble with that, whatever, it slowed everything down. The death card in reverse, the stagnation. And it is connected to the five, five of swords here, which is in reverse, you know. So it hurt energy. And we see here in the five of swords, there are three people. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean people can be, well, interference, third party. So bad behaviors, interference by people. Things that were, that are not being decided, again, what's that other pentacle around? Is it just commitment issues or are there other things? Really big differences, interference, but they're coming in here to communicate. Five of pentacles in reverse, Mercury and Taurus, more validation. You know, this is a card of loss and worry and kind of, well, some of the energy of when things were happening, of being hurt here, and it's in reverse. So this is coming back in here. For some of you, it's literally around, I want to say a dwelling, a home, a location, a place, that sort of thing. But 
you know, it's also just the communication. It's just coming back into the connection and kind of on, <laughs> on, um, unstagnating that is definitely not a word but getting things moving again here because we see once the hermit is coming out of this energy which is here in the partnership placement it's going really straight into the three of pentacles it's probably actually heading right here for the empress which is connecting with the three of pentacles and the knight of swords and that's communication and right after this coming out of the hermit energy, there is the wheel of fortune and that's a turning point and that's things changing. And that's around the Jupiter energy, which has been getting held back. And we see that even in, again, in the minor arcana energy of the 10 of wands, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy, that it'll just happen really fast. That things, you know, that there's, it's a turning point because that Jupiter energy is connected, of course, to the wheel of fortune. And that's a turning point, and that's just a new start, and it's connecting to a message. <laughs> what can I say? A message here. Trying to reach out, and a message, or again, communication. That's what I wanted to say. And again, for some of you, really strong uh, indication of it being in person, but I know that that just is not for everybody, but it is here. The Empress with her scepter, you know, able to... Well, start anything, grow anything, abundance, fertility, new beginnings, Taurus energy and divine feminine energy. So getting out of that hermit energy, jumping into the wheel of fortune when it's time, it's a turning point where that goes, of course, is up to everybody. But that's coming out of that stagnation, which we see here might be a pretty impulsive move anyway. Ace of Cups, are they coming in here to make an offer? Or are they coming, is this what's coming in with this cup? It's a peace offering too, I want to tell you. The doves come in pairs and it's a peaceful energy. It's diving into this baptismal cup, creating some waves coming out of nowhere. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And this can't be a new start in this connection, you know, of coming really back together. But it is a conversation being had here and it is a new start. And at the end of the day, it's always going to be the case that where things are going are up to you and your person. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone does energies, outcomes. They can, they will, and they do change. So where you both decide to go is where you both decide to go. It's the sun energy. I really like this a lot, and it's revealing something under here. Okay. <laughs> so it's the sun. We're going to look at that in a moment. The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Is there hope for this moving again? Is this what you've been waiting for aside from my field communication? Of course, yeah. Look, the Empress here and the Sun. So this is, of course, a new beginning. It's the end of a cycle, it's the beginning of a new one, and it's the renewal. The Sun is coming up, you know, every day and illuminating everything, and it's a chance for... Well, things to grow. This what what has been going dormant in the dark. The stagnation energy here, connecting right here with the Empress, who has access to all the signs, of course, and all the elements. This is reaching that outcome. So, yeah, there's lots of potential here. Definitely new beginnings around the opportunity to talk and somebody taking that. Is there a who's going first energy? A little bit here. I feel that. Could they be coming in with something as big as a marriage proposal? Of course. I could never tell you, yeah, that's exactly what's going on here. I wouldn't anyway. But it is definitely here. Either way, it's a new beginning. And there is a proposal energy. So is that to talk, to come together in person, to have a conversation, to meet to continue things because look what else is here. So we have the Empress who can grow anything and she has the backup of the sun here. This is source, higher power, crown chakra, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, divine protection, everything here. And this Knight of Wands energy is funny. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of looking a little bit out of place here. Nonetheless, and this is under the deck too, it's the Page of Wands. So here looking at it, trying to find a way to come in here. The, you know, already we see here kind of brewing that in, the inspiration for that coming along. 
And now jumping here on the Knight of Wands, who does look, granted, a little bit panicked, <laughs> nonetheless is holding on to that energy of love, and it's a fast energy, and it's covered in leaves for change, getting ready to go here. There may have this, this emotional unavailability, just lack of, you know, whatever's going on with the commitment, communication, it does come through here, connecting with the Page of Swords in reverse for your person. It can be that it's been... There have been some cycles that have been kind of going on. This does remind me every time I see it of the carousel horse that's going around. But you can see, you know, they're they're holding on and they're getting ready to go. There's just a little bit of hesit hesitancy and a little bit of fear. But we see them quite fearless here. So it's just a matter of when. And that really does feel like what's going on here. It's the energy of just kind of jumping out and going. Because look what is going on here. Connecting also with the Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups. Mars and Pisces energy, this, this new start together of whether, were you in the Ten of Cups? Were you building a family? Some of you, it's really strong in particular with the Empress and the Sun here. The Three of Cups, it won't be for everybody, but that, and what is building a family? That is going to mean something different to everybody. But building a life together, perhaps... I want to say blending families or introducing families. Where you are already there, where you heading there wasn't on the table because it's definitely back on the table and they're coming in here with the cup and we're seeing the hope for the new beginning coming out of the stagnant energy. It's really clear. It's a matter of timing here. Really, you know, spirit has plan. If you're still here, you still got you're still here. You do have one foot out the door. This this night better get their their hiney moving. <laughs> As my mom would say, the potential, yeah. The hope, yeah. The new beginning, for sure. So where that's going, where where do you got? Where do you want it to go? Where are you both heading? What decisions are you making? Your overall energy today. Okay, I want to bring in some oracle. <laughs> I'm trying to straighten things up first. Why am I trying to straighten things up? Oh, but before we do, I, oh, I nearly forgot about your page of wands here. You know, so there's that page energy again. It's sort of like student energy. You know, student energy, kind of like clean slate, trying to figure it out energy. And something is wanting to reveal itself underneath. And... That page of wands energy of, of getting that idea, you know, of, well, figuring this out, this cycle, balancing this out, what's going on there. Again, you know, and for the renewal. So whether it's just the commitment issues or there's a lot more behind that. But getting that idea and jumping on this knight of wands horse, also getting out, of course, of this really indecisive more uh, validation, strong validation of the indecisive energy, which is, look, catty corner here with you waiting. Still here, possibly one foot out the door, you know, wanting to go boop right here. It's minor arcana energy. So something here, oh, okay, is revealing. Wow. So this is not surprising at all. So this is a validation of really of, of what we already know here, of, of hopping out of the hermit energy here. Of course, this is a nine. This is Attainment and fulfillment and things coming to fruition, you know, it's where you go to figure things out. And coming right up, which we talked about, is the Wheel of Fortune. So here it is, a turning point in this connection. A new beginning, the end of this cycle that has been going on that has made everything stagnant and slowed down. Lots of potential here. Yeah, and taking the opportunity, which we can see. Lots of potential for things well, we see moving forward here again and, and moving again. You know, lots of growth potential. Where, where does everybody want to go? It's a faded connection. You were meant to meet destiny. It's a deep soulmate connection. It can be for some of you. You have known your person for many years or it just feels that way. But this is, it's a coming into your destiny energy. The wheel of fortune, the cycles of life. It is always spinning. But somebody here, somebody... <laughs> insert your person and enter your person has been trying to figure out the riddle to this sphinx which is how you get them to move you know 
And we see in that page of swords energy, maybe they, the communication, the lack of some, some immaturity, the lack of communication, emotional availability, choice making, whatever here has kept them from figuring out this riddle. But we see that they're going to get that riddle, the transactional energy and being able, being able to get this moving again. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius energy is here. And again, it's really connected to communication for a lot of you. It is around, it is around a message, but for many of you, it may not be a message. It, it, we can see here that it may be in person, but it's a turning point. It's, yeah, it's a turning point here. It's a new start. I'm bringing in some Oracle. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now. Just not reading it in reverse. It, everything's shuffled, but I want to show you what's here. It's to be fair. So this is a lot like Justice Energy, Libra Energy, Venus Energy, Justice. It's coming to an 11 as well, and that's a master number. It's new beginnings. It's really, really clear here extremely clear and a nice outcome too I really like this and again what's in that cup you know definitely coming back together here it's a celebratory reunion energy here look it's almost like that third cup has been held up so it's a matter of timing communication and where things are going is it is it just in the nick of time energy but this is the truth coming out and it's it's there's solutions around whatever's been going on here there's the balance here and the renewal. One side has what looks like maybe a rock <laughs> and the other is a fortune cookie. Here, a fortune cookie. Look, connecting right here with this new cycle, with the truth, with things balanced out, with things moving again. And of course that 11 comes together and makes, you know, they, they come together and form a two and that's the partnership. And again, it's also the balance. And of course it's the balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies to come from a place of truth and clarity, but it's also the, the renewal of the cycle. Okay. So we're going to keep that. And I want to move the ener energy. I want to move the energy. It's already moved and it wants to show <laughs> regeneration. This is really extremely clear. Again, here's the new cycle it's the, the completion so this is like whatever happened here energy was there maybe for some of you tower moments and the thing about fire is it's, it's a destroyer you know we know that mother nature after will regenerate the ground and then the smoke and the embers have cleared which it hasn't quite happened here yet because we're waiting for this timing issue the ground is is more fertile than it was before enter the empress the sun here to move things, the hope here in the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. And that's regenerating and it's oftentimes again, even better than before. And there, there are going to be things popping up that were growing there that maybe weren't really working out so much that need, need to be looked at, but the regeneration is really clear. So this is where it's wanting to go today. So this is, this is where I'm going, where I'm led. Clean it up energy. Hello. <laughs> the camera was just running out just as I'm, I'm sitting here watching it. Anyway, the clean it up card. There we go again with the timing, communication, and this is working things out. This is working things out. And I really like also here the, the peaceful spiritual healing energy that we're seeing. And look, there's a star coming up here with the dust. So, you know, it's sort of like when we're cleaning. Well, really, it's the same thing when we're cleaning and we're sweeping and it's kicking up a lot of things. So there's a lot to be worked out, a lot of truth coming here. It's not magic, you know. So things are coming up that need to be addressed that were swept under. So it's judgment energy in many ways, too, because it's like airing things out. You know, it's clarity. It's the clarity that was, that's being, that's, that's here in the hermit just before, as we saw the wheel of fortune here. It's the clarity airing things out and the star here and the hope and the renewal. That's the renewal. So it is kicking up dust. But remember, you know, it's like when we're cleaning, we, we often find things too that we thought were lost. So coming back together and communicating and yeah, everything coming out here, things being aired out, communication, forgiveness, but bringing up some things that we thought were lost and things that we didn't even know were there. For example, 
when you're cleaning and you're digging around on the sofa and you find money. <laughs> I really like this. Beginning, middle, end. Life, death, rebirth. This is very much a new start. And so this was showing and I want to see what's going on here. Okay. This is really clear. So clean it up. We're putting it right here. The last two coming in here and now in the fates. This is a faded connection. You were destined to meet. It's really very, very clear. There might be some realizations going on around that. In the Hermit energy, that star energy coming through there, also the star being kicked up here as you communicate, past and future. So it's both, it really is a lot of this. Look, there's kind of a sadness and melancholy here. Um, you know, she's, these wings here, this is fate for me, quite literally in connecting, look. Hearts coming off of it, but looking a little bit melancholy waiting. So it's, it's what happened in the past. It's, it's not living in the past, but it is clean slate energy of being able to work it out. And moving forward here in the future, which hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. My gosh, a faded connection, the fates, the timing here, also connected with the Wheel of Fortune. The star energy, I mean, what can I say? It's a 17 that's coming to an 8. It's an action number. It's the movement. That's also karma. That's also working out the cycle and the renewal. Manifesting abundance. And there's a lot of healing energy around 8. It's considered lucky as well. This is working it out. It's, it's literally, look at the past is pointing right at clean, and clean it up. And look where the future is heading for the fates. Coming into your destiny here. What a goosebumpy reading. What a beautiful reading. I'm very happy to have channeled for you today. I'm going to close the reading here today, I think. I don't think I'm going to bring in channeled love messages today. I want to leave it here. It's been my honor to channel for you. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm covering things up. That's, that always happens here. Sorry, Empress. Sorry, sorry Three of Cups. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I wish you well in your journey and the best possible outcome for you. If you enjoyed your reading, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you know when readings are coming that might interest you. Have a really beautiful day, and I look forward to seeing you at another love reading. Bye.